I removed the action rail and harp assembly from the Rhodes Mark II stage piano so I could give it a good cleaning inside. Because of the Rhodes piano, my office was starting to smell a little bit like an old attic or an antique shop. I loosened the screws holding the action rail to the case. I also had to remove the nameplate with the output jack and set it aside. And then I took the action rail and harp out and set it aside. I removed all the keys from the key bed and stacked them neatly aside so I can put them back in the same place. Since the keys are all plastic, I'll give them a good wash in the sink. Looking at the pedestal felts on the back of the keys, I'm not happy with the look of them. Someone did a very slapdash job of applying the felt and they're unevenly applied and a lot of them are crooked and hanging off to one side of the key. At the time I was shooting this video, to buy enough pedestal felt to redo the 73 keys is about eight bucks. That seems like a good investment. I vacuumed out the bits of paper, cobwebs, and dust that had built up in the case. It didn't look like there was any water damage or anything had been spilled into the case over the years, yay. Hopefully doing this will help get rid of some of the old smell. I brought the action rail and harp assembly out to the garage workbench where I have a good work surface and could take them apart. You can see the old screws, washers, and grommets at the bottom of the screen here. I've already received the new screws, washers, and grommets, so once I've got the harp out, I'll plan to start replacing those. I loosened the metal arms that hinge the harp to the action rail below it because I want to completely remove the harp. There were only three out of the four screws holding the harp down to the action rail. You can see that the hammer tips are in pretty good shape, but the hammers are really uneven. I didn't, I didn't notice if they were more even when they were on top of the keys in the key bed, so I don't know if this unevenness is an issue or not. The damper felts are in pretty bad shape. They've got grooves crushed into them and they look like they're fraying. Vintage Vibe had a sale over uh, Memorial Day weekend, and I bought a new set of damper felts. Those will be here soon. You can see that the treble key felts are black compared to the white ones on the lower keys. I don't know if this is a factory setup or if the black felts were a replacement one, uh, a replacement set. Either way, they're going to be replaced with new ones. I put some cleaner on a paper towel and wiped down the inside of the case to remove any dust that was still clinging to the surfaces. Of course, when I did this, I left little shredded bits of paper towel in the case, so I had to vacuum again. I'm not planning to replace any of the paper or felt punch pieces as these all look in good shape and the piano seemed to have very evenly spaced and level keys. From what I've read, having the strips of felt here at the front isn't the ideal setup, but I'm not planning on replacing these as they seem to be in good condition. If the key dip isn't good when I go back and check. I might look at replacing this setup, but for now they're going to stay as is. I also received the replacement set of legs and crossbars that I ordered from Vintage Vibe during the time I was recording the disassembly process, so I'll put these on now in this video. They look really good. They're all chrome and they're very stable. Everything's very solid. They're much better than the wobbly wooden stools that I was using temporarily.
Well, that's it for this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and click on the bell to get notifications. Thanks. See you next time.